And I have a little, uh, little info I want to share with you. Look at these lows tonight. The normal low 74. We're in the 80s. This has become a common theme around here. So these are the lows tonight, early tomorrow morning. What's taking place? Well, it's the urban heat island, okay? Since night, I, I was looking these numbers up. Uh, this is all compliments of the EPA, but since 1990, the impervious surface areas in the Dallas Fort Worth area have increased by 890 square miles. So what are these impervious surface areas? They're buildings, they're dark roofs, they're concrete. So the concrete absorbs the heat from direct sunlight. It stores it, releases it more slowly than the non-paved areas. And then the heat is released well after sunset, and it just creates an area that can be much warmer than surrounding rural areas. And again, according to the U.S. Environmental, Environmental Protection Agency, the temperature difference between the urban and the rural areas, it can be significant. Look at these numbers, the city temperature, Temperature of a city with 1 million or more. We've got over 8 million people here in North Texas. 1 million or more people can be up to 5 degrees warmer during the day. And listen to this, up to 22 degrees warmer at night compared to rural areas. So again, just let's just get used to these really, really warm overnights during the summertime. We have clear skies out there right now. I do have a little bit of rain in my forecast tomorrow, but not tonight. Tonight's clear, warm, muggy, light winds. 81's the low tonight. Tomorrow, partly sunny and hot. A heat advisory. It's been in effect the last few days. It stays in effect tomorrow. Uh, about 20 to 30 percent of us see some scattered showers and thunderstorms. There's a real low risk that some of those storms could have some small hail and some gusty winds. Otherwise, 100 percent of us are hot and humid tomorrow. I have triple digits the next three days. We cool to a chilly 99 on Saturday. Then we're right back up to triple digits Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of next week, Wednesday, Thursday, which is 4th of July, Mike, 100 degrees on the 4th, a chilly 99 on July 5, triple digits Saturday, Sunday, the 6th and 7th of July, and as we head through the 8th and the 9th of July, we're still in the upper 90s to lower 100s.